Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this TFLEX CAD training course and the topic for today will be the 3D pictures. Uh, unlike fragments, uh, a 3D picture uh, it's a whole of a three-dimensional object without any parametric properties or relations between the picture elements. Um, this is used basically to uh, create three-dimensional assembly structure. So you can see the elements uh, on the assembly, but you cannot uh, change them or you cannot uh, make a lot of things with, with them. Um, so you can use this, and it is important, uh, inserting these documents of uh, the 3D picture files in several uh, formats like uh, VRML, uh, Open Inventor, uh, PLI, OBJ, STL, DXF, DWG. You can, s you can see um, a list of uh, all the possible um, formats to insert. So this is um, quite easy to deal with. So uh, inside assembly menu, uh, we have external model, open this, and then you have the function 3D picture. And this is basically uh, choosing a file uh, either here or here. So you can choose a file and you can select the file and simply um, insert it or you can select it and make it embedded if this if it is made embedded then the file will become part of your um, of your uh, file also and uh, your file when you save it will become bigger because it will have the information of this embedded uh, part or parts so simply select I have I have done previously one uh, uh, cube in STL format, which I save uh, here. So open, and uh, we don't have many uh, parameters to deal with, but we can um, apply transformations to um, the file we are uh, inserting. We can change the scale and we can change the units so if you change the units it will reflect immediately uh, on the size of the object and you if you say create internal document then it will become part of your of your uh, file so after everything is done you just say okay so you see now the object um, we cannot for example um choose a plan to uh work uh, as a plan for sketching something so we have the object we can choose a couple of points for example to insert um, a new part or create a new thing so we can choose this point and and uh, take it as a reference but not much more besides this okay uh, so every time you want to add another th uh, 3D picture, so you can choose another file or you can repeat. And um, besides this, uh, we have a couple of options about uh, inserting these files, these 3D pictures, uh, going through the local coordinate systems. I haven't done it, but they are quite easy because simply you choose a source and f in the end a target. Um, the, lo the last topic about these um, 3D pictures has to do um, with some uh, change on the, on the textures that you can apply to these elements. So um, you can uh, create uh, some coating materials and apply them. Um, if you open the tree, you can see that um, under operations you have one 3D image, so uh, you'll have an entry uh, with this look. 
Um, so you can choose your element, open the parameters dialog box, and then uh, for the material, instead of this message here, you can come to from document, material, so choose uh, something, for example, um, let us say grass, okay, whatever, and you have this uh, with a, a coating. Uh, maybe it is important uh, so that you so that you can um, uh, understand where there are the the three D pictures, or even in in this assembly context, it is important to have uh, a certain kind of coating or texture uh, for the assembly. It's up to you. So. Regarding these 3D pictures, it's a very simple topic. I hope this example, it was clear enough for your understanding. Any help, you can contact us, uh, as we say, always ending these videos.